Hey everyone, Greg here at Wegas. Uh, I thought I would do a vlog for today. I'm doing a lot of stuff around the store. Uh, Sunday morning, a little bit slower. Actually, I just sold a bunch of horror DVDs, so that's good. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a vlog so you guys can just once again see what I'm working on. You know, I when I didn't have a store, I always thought it was fun to watch these types of videos and kind of go into detail about the day and day in and outs of running a game store. And I tell you, like, there's not many of them that I could find online. So uh, for people that like this, I think you really like it. Uh, I'm doing a lot of stuff today. So um, hang on. I uh, I thought that was worth showing. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, a husky. So, um, all right, let's take a look here. So, I mean, I'm getting like I'm running out of room here, people. I keep adding stuff. My card sections doubled. When I first opened, I had, I think, like, just this. I mean, I had that. Maybe, maybe, maybe this. But as you can see, like, it's just, I, you know, I bought out. I just keep buying stuff. You know, I'm, um, I consider myself very good with, um, light? Light? Um, I'm pretty good at, like, finding good deals. And, uh, the cards aren't too expensive. I'm not buying anything crazy, but, um, yeah, my card section's tripled, and I have more coming, too. So I got all these Stephen King books from my brother. I gotta figure out what to do with those. I got laser discs I gotta put on eBay. I managed to, like, start, like, buying enough little toys. Whenever I see toys like this, I pick them up. And I have a dollar bin, a three dollar bin, and a five dollar bin. And I just kind of pick them up when I see them for cheap and get my bins going. So uh, I did that today. I went out and got bins. I'll put signs up. And um, I have games for sale now. I was renting games, but people kept asking me to buy them. So I kind of, you know, I just started pricing them all. So those are all priced. Got that done this week. My DVD section. People are buying DVDs. You know, nothing crazy, but I get, you know, three, four people a week buying movies. And the section is getting bigger, as you can see. You know, they're starting to, like, overflow. Um, <clears throat> I have probably five times the amount of CDs I had when I started. Same with the books. This whole wall will probably be books. Honestly. Uh, I might do that today. And then, uh, here, this back room. I decided to do a lot more eBay stuff. I decided to do a lot more online sales. Um, you know, I'd like to try to make my day to break even, um, between, you know, sales at the store and eBay, too. Uh, I really didn't want to start doing online, a lot of online sales, but honestly, if it's sitting there on the shelf, you know, why not, um, try to get rid of it, so. Yeah, so, uh, a lot of this is, well, here's the deal, like, whew, like, um, you know, when I opened the store, there was a crap load of work beforehand planning, and then getting the funds, and then getting the lease and all the permits and licenses, and then getting in here and painting and freaking putting shelving together, pricing everything, it literally, like... And then when I opened, you know, I spent a few weeks, uh, you know, promoting online and all, and all of the uh, search engines, all the social media sites, getting all that stuff set up, the website set up, and I just needed a break, like, between... Because I'm still working my regular job, too. And I just needed a break big time, so I kind of burnt myself out. And uh, this week, I'm really getting my second wind. I went through and priced, literally, I had thousands of cards. I went through Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Magic cards, and I took about four days straight and just like sorted stuff, priced stuff. We have binders now, which is really cool. We have binders for all of our more expensive cards. We have um, Magic cards. We don't have that many yet, but we're getting there, you know. So we have, um, you know, some magic. I actually just sold some out of the book the other day. So we have a magic binder, a Yu-Gi-Oh binder, 
And then we have Pokemon Binder for all the more expensive cards. So that was a huge landmark to get the magic stuff set up. I didn't have any magic really when I opened. It had like a thousand cards, nothing worth anything. And then the past month, it was like top priority to get all that stuff. So now we have thousands of magic cards. We have some that are higher value. Binders for you know Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic. That was a huge deal to get all of that stuff where it needs to be. And our, our Friday Night Magics are, you know, the best the best business we have going. So it's huge to get that all set up. And now I'm trying to work on uh, organizing the back room, get that cleaned up, and try to get like an eBay, eBay um, like workshop going basically. So I can start pumping up, pumping out online sales. So you'll see like right here, I'm going through everything. You know, I have like just boxes. I just have boxes of stuff, right? Like, you know, when I was working on my, my board game a couple years ago, you know, I have just stuff I need, I need to like go through and throw out, you know, like a, like a cards. I mean, I just, it's just like, I just have so much stuff, you know? You know, I have like lots of odds and ends like this, like a Dark Souls case. Like, you'll see, like, you know, if you have a bunch of stuff, you start organizing, okay, so all these movies are for sale, you, you price them, you shrink wrap them, all that stuff, put them out there, and then you get, like, leftover stuff, right? Which is all this stuff, right? Like, you have, like, a Dark Souls with the soundtrack CD, but no actual game, a PSP, like, where's the charger, my brother's band, which I'm not selling, but, like, you know, just random DVDs, which I'll throw out, I'm sure, um... You know, PC games. Like, I mean, who, who buys PC games? Like, I, I, don't, I don't really want a bunch of junk in the store. So I might just bring those somewhere to give away. So this back room is, is a nightmare. I have all my incomplete board games. So when I'm out shopping, you know, if I, I, I manage to pick up, like, upwards right there. My dad donated upwards. My dad donated that one. And I had one right there. So I can combine the two and make a complete set. So those are all, like, at least like that's done. Those are all my incomplete board games. But over here I'm working on um, like my eBay shelf. You know, all the stuff's on eBay. Actually not, not those guys. But you know, this stuff, this is actually worth 125 bucks. I bought this at Toys R Us about 10 years ago. I never opened it. But that's worth 150 bucks. I just found out this week. This puzzle I bought, this puzzle, it's worth about 50 bucks. I just found that out. So that's my eBay shelf. See, I'm getting organized, right? Like, my eBay shelf is there. My supplies will be over here. Uh, a bunch of Impulse Pictures DVDs I put on Craigslist. So I'm just going through everything. You know, there's some cards I have to go through. Some Magic cards, Pokemon cards I have to go through there. Over here is, like, boxes of wires, right? Like, i I, I got to go through this stuff. And then, like, put them in, like, Ziploc bags and say, you know, here's a, here's a Skylanders portal. You know, here's a PS2 controller. You know, it's like, um, I got to organize all of that stuff and put prices on it. And, you know, this is kind of like my boxes for eBay. I save these because I use, I use the cardboard to, like, you know, put, put around the inside of the box when I ship as, like, a buffer. So, there's that. And I, you know, I gotta work on my office. My office is a complete mess. You know, I just haven't had much time to like really take it to the next level and go through stuff. My ceiling tiles, I fixed my ceiling tiles this week. I had a few missing tiles. Those were missing over there. Some bathroom tiles were missing. I replaced those. And I have to go through all these cards over here. There's Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are worth some money in here. Um, you know, there's just, I have to go through all that stuff and price it. So, um, I guess that's it for the vlog. Uh, you know, I, lots of odds and ends, you know. I just want to get everything really organized and streamlined and start doing some online sales. So, uh, that's it, everybody. Thanks so much. And, uh, you know, come swing by. It's, uh, Wegas at 270 Amy Street in Manchester, New Hampshire. And, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. And, uh, or hang, I mean, thanks for watching, I guess. 
So uh, have a good day. Bye.